Energy, energy, tempo, tempo, and action! Hi. So, we got a little ahead of ourselves. We did a cool project today, right Phoebe? Can we show everyone the project we did before we start the next project? We made ice cubes with different colors and we played with them today. And now we have all this really cool colored water, right? That was so fun today, wasn't it? Yeah, I will take this one and pour it. Now we're working on a project because we still have not finished putting, or I shouldn't say finished, we haven't begun putting away our Christmas decor. So Scott is currently pulling out all of our storage boxes because none of them have the right labels on them anymore. And I don't know where anything is at all. I literally could not find my dish towels all holiday season still and I had to buy new ones. So we're going to relabel everything and figure out a better way of where to store things so we know where things are in the future. So this is the project. It would basically this is kind of step one of our declutter. We have three spots. We have this room, the cat room, and this closet. Yes. To store things kind of. It sounds like more space than it is. <laughs> To be very clear. Yeah. That whole room is not storage. There's like a side wall that you it's put boxes in. It's one wall where we have like four rows and we have one column here and like space for like four boxes in there. And then still, that's another video is redoing this closet and this is going to be the office so we can't put anything in there. Yeah, that, that needs to get emptied, not filled. This is the playroom, so. This is the uh, open concept room. Nothing, not, so we can't put anything here. Yeah, this is like a room now. This did not always function that way. Okay, so now I'm going to, I guess, just time lapse sure. us working and then we can so do some sort of update. That's first step weird. is I'm going to take out all the boxes while you play with Phoebe. Correct. Then we will switch and I will play with Phoebe while you label. label. Okay. Bye, Mario. And then the third step, Emergency. I guess, would be to find the, you want to find the next holiday. Oh, yeah, slash, I know I have. Yes. Um, it's a bunch of stuff Season. that never came out last year because I never so decorated before Halloween, basically. All right, yeah, that's the plan. Let's get rock and rolling. storage boxes I just went through and I put a label on the side of each one you'll be shocked that the one with the most boxes is Halloween but now I know where like my Christmas boxes are so I can start putting <laughs> that stuff away and I did find the box that has my like transitional decor so this was a project that had been looming over my head because I knew it wasn't gonna be hard but just like getting everything out and having the time to do this little project was gonna be a pain but at least it's done so I've spoken of the nugget, but I haven't actually revealed the nugget. Are you on the nugget, little nugget? Phoebe. Phoebe, can you find Olaf? Where's Olaf? Where's Olaf, Where's baby? Olaf? Can you go get Olaf? <laughs> she said, well, if you picked me up. So this Where's is our Olaf? nugget. It's very fun. You can make all different structures and recline on it. But all the boxes are labeled. Do you want to guess? what we have the most of like one category as far as boxes go no no of course of course trash can i see can i see i don't even know there's nothing there literally nothing okay hello i'm sitting in terrible lighting it is thursday morning phoebe and scott are both still asleep so i thought i'd give you guys an update because i don't remember the last time i updated the vlog we had a lot of nights of Phoebe not going to sleep and it was really really hard um about two nights ago we kind of figured it out and unfortunately uh, or unfortunately depending how you look at it it seems like we have to push her bedtime back about an hour because she has randomly super power crazy toddler energy uh at night and won't go to sleep because she just wants to like 
run well she can't run but you know what i mean like she just wants to like get around and move and go so it seems like if we give her that extra hour of play after dinner before her bath she's still going to bed late but she's staying asleep so that we can like do stuff at night and last night we were so tired we finished the eternals movie finally which i have thoughts and then we watched the newest boba fett episode as far as the container storage goes we finished i labeled everything and we we reorganized it and then I have taken it down, I have taken down about, I'm gonna say 90% of the Christmas decorations. It's mainly like the lights that need to come down and out. That's the only thing that's left. I do have a box that says like, it has like random decorations. So it's like some Valentine's Day, some summer stuff. So I kind of need to go through it and see if I want to put any of it out, but that hasn't really been a priority yet. This morning I was folding socks because I've just been on such a journey trying to find her good socks because she needs the grippies on the bottom for now and the ones i had for the last oh god half a year they just like slide off her feet and she's and that was fine for a while because they're not fully falling off but they're sliding down to the point where there's like a little extra fabric in the front of her foot and now that she's starting to like walk back and forth along furniture she's stepping on the extra fabric and like tripping up over them so i <laughs> had needed to order her sweatpants recently because it's very cold outside and i realized in her current size that she wears she owns zero pairs of sweatpants <laughs> and it's like freezing lately and i had remembered that i saw a jessica braun vlog where she said that she really likes the cat and jack sweatpants so i ordered three pairs of sweatpants from target black gray and pink and of course, it was one of those things where like you need to spend $35. So I got her a little fidget toy for the car. And then I had ordered her grippy socks. And then the next day or so, like Old Navy was having a big sale. And I was putting in a bunch of 2T and 3T pajamas in the cart because they were like, it was like 3 or $4 a pair for these pajamas. And I was like, I mean, she has Old Navy pajamas now and they're nice, I like them. I was putting stuff in the cart and I was like, oh, they look like they have grippy socks too, so I put those in. So I was like, okay, now she has like, I think it was like six and six, both packs were six. <laughs> and I haven't gotten that order in yet, so I can't talk about that so much right now. But then a day or two later, I had seen like a funny meme on Instagram. And one of the things is like socks that never fall off. And I had jokingly said, like, hey, if somebody can find socks that don't fall off, send me a link. And then my friend Emily from Emily Max's channel sent me like a link for socks that she loves. And I was like, you know what? Because I'm pretty sure the socks, well, I know the socks I got from Target. And I'm pretty sure the socks I got from Old Navy are both like more like ankle socks versus the ones she had sent me were like crew, which is the ones I'm having the issue with right now. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get these <clears throat> and it's funny because right before, the day before, Scott and I had been looking at one of our, like we follow this one blogger, her name is But First Coffee. We had been reading her blog post about like dressing your kids best in the winter because we had had some like iffy, <laughs> iffy winter gear for her after her first snow day and I had replaced her like mittens and I got her a hat that wraps around. And the one thing we didn't have was really warm socks. They're wool socks and she had linked them. So when I was ordering the one set of socks from Amazon, I ordered the wool set of socks from Amazon. So in the last week of her life, I have ordered four new packs of socks, <laughs> which is collectively more than I think she's actually owned in her entire life. But I started to think about it and I was like, you know what? I've always just bought plain white or plain, just like solid color. And I was like, I think she's gonna actually like, like having different styles of like cute socks because like the ones i'm putting on her today have like cats and stuff so it's like she's probably at an age where it's okay to have like too many socks because like i have too many socks so i i don't feel that guilty i just think it's so funny that i've just like gone from like one set of socks that were driving me crazy and now i have a whole bunch of socks but in conclusion though just the ones that my friend emily recommended came in yesterday so i'm still waiting on the old navy order and the whole socks I think the wool socks are supposed to come today. I really hope so, because Saturday we're supposed to get a really big nor'easter, which if it was a regular year, I would not be very thrilled about. 
But with Phoebe, I'm like happy because she'll have fun. And I've actually seen a lot of sensory play ideas because I love setting up sensory play for her because it kind of lets me uh, take a back seat and just sit and like sittervise her. <laughs> Where like you can literally like take a container and fill it with snow and like hide toys in it for her and she can like go on like a exploration basically and I was like oh that'll be so fun and I actually read that if the container you use is plastic the snow won't melt fast because the container will start to get really cold too which I did something similar last week with the with our little like bowl thing and I had put like um, food coloring in ice cube molds and like the ice cubes in the mold the ice cubes lasted so many hours because they were in such a cold environment because the plate bowl thing they were in got cold. Anyway, this has been way too long of a clip, so I'm just gonna cut it off here. <laughs> That's so silly. We're having a snow day today. All right, Phoebe, ready? Oh dear. She's like, make me good snacks, not Cheerios. <laughs> so we're having a snow day today. Sky's playing with the nugget he made forts called forts after lunch i'm going to set up a snow sensory activity for baby in the basement she's rocking her new sweatpants because we didn't have sweatpants in our current size and it was chilly out so we got sweatpants sorry she was literally about, I, and you went snow pants, snow pants, snow pants. And she goes, well, screw this game. All right, I'm going to go over here. We already went outside once today. It was pretty, pretty windy for Phoebes. It was ridiculously hard to get her into this. I swear her snow boots are already too small. That's fun. Um, so we might do snow pants later instead of the snow suit. I feel like it's easier to get her in the pants. It's still snowing outside, though. Still snowy out there. That is all for right now. Just did a little snow day update and ruined everything apparently. Yeah. Oh, we also had soft pretzels after the snow and Phoebe might try her first hot chocolate today depending on how things go. Yeah. She is having so much fun with you, Daddy. Yeah. She can't handle all the fun. You are killing me. I forgot to film that we were playing with snow in the basement, but we made Phoebe her first hot chocolate and she would rather play with the containers. Is that silly? That's right. Ready? Phoebe's favorite thing is when I make stupid faces. Watch this. Phoebe. 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 Distraction. Don't look at mama. 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 Uh. Ready? In conclusion, kids don't care about chocolate. They just want to play with containers. Well, in conclusion. <laughs> Make up. So, I have the house to myself for the first time in a lot of months. I have no idea the last time I was completely alone. <sighs> but it is refreshing. I have not been alone. I literally can't tell you the last time I was home alone. Scott is actually going to his mom's house for lunch and Phoebe's with him. And I said, you know what? I'll make cookies for you to take with you, but I just need some time alone. So right now I'm going to eat a giant bowl of noodles because that would, that would be great just to eat all alone without someone trying to steal my food. And then I'm going to see how much I can clean because I can't just like relax for like maybe the two hours they're gone. The kitchen is a mess because I baked last night and I haven't had time to clean it up because life. Okay, I'm gonna see how much cleaning I can get done because I've been feeling a little a little uh, stressed out lately. This coming week, I really wanna go over to the Dollar Tree. I'm not sure if our Dollar Tree has officially been marked up to $1.25 yet, but I need to get to the Dollar Tree this week and maybe TJ Maxx. But I have a feeling today is going to be the end of this vlog and then there'll be more to come, but I'm planning on just like 
doing a bunch of time lapses of what I kind of accomplished while they're gone. Um, we're getting pizza for dinner tonight. I can't remember the last time I got takeout, but I'm just so tired of cooking every night and like thinking. And I know that if we get pizza, Phoebe easily can eat a slice of pizza, which okay, like I mean, <laughs> it's easy dinner. I just cut it up for her and she like devours it. So I just need a chill, chill night before uh, the work week starts. So yeah, I'm about to eat a big bowl of cheesy pasta and then do a lot of cleaning. So thanks for stopping by this vlog. done earlier but they're on their way back now and I set up snow sensory play for Phoebe probably could have videoed myself doing it but honestly we had all this set up yesterday I just added a fresh batch of snow and this is the chip and dip bowl that I got at Target that I always use I can link it down below because I literally bought it for this exact reason but I just put a lot of blue and white stuff a little purple some like snowy animals some stuff for scooping and just, you know, throw down, <laughs> definitely throw down some towels if you don't want to make it the biggest mess. But yeah, we did this yesterday and she liked it. And all I did was go outside and scoop some snow into a big bowl. So yeah, it's that simple. Mm -hmm. 